Like we, we're rebuilding, we're rebuilding in the best way we can. And so I think we're making every decision, every single draft pick, every single pick to trade it, every single decision, whether to pick it, to trade it, to do whatever, we're gonna make the best decision we can. And, and Tillman's made clear to me, the job is to get to the end goal. Now we don't have an infinite amount of time to get there, but as long as we, and you know, we're super aligned, obviously, as long as, as long as we think that is the right decision at that point in time, that's the way we'll go. Rafael, so generally speaking, how do you look at the options you had at three and on down in your other draft picks as well? So I have no idea what we will be looking at mm -hmm. as we get lower in the draft. Right. It's just completely unpredictable. I'm really excited that there's going to be an amazingly talented player available at three. And then, like I've said before, it's up to that player and us to make sure that, uh, that that their career goes the way they envision, we envision, fans envision, everything else. Rafael, when you're doing your draft preparation, how important is it if a player worked out for you privately or not? I mean, like, it. these guys play, we, we have access to like 200 games on average for each player, and we've got access to a multitude of practices and other things. Um, an individual workout is an input but it's, they usually last about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. And so you can decide yourself how, how much you would weigh one hour versus, you know, 500 hours. Um, that, that's, that's my answer.